Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the authorship markup tag, which is basically this system that basically connects any article that you write on your website. It connects it with your Google Plus account and gives you a profile image like this. Um, if you don't understand why this is so important and why this is huge for SEO, then you have to watch the video that's connected with this one where I why Google Plus is so important for SEO now. This is just one of the reasons. So you have to watch that video to really have the big picture of it or else you're gonna be kind of left in the dark um, on why it matters. In either in, in either case though, do exactly what's, what's being shown in this video because even if you don't get it, it still will help you. So just follow the steps in this video regardless. All right, so here's what, we, here's what we're basically doing. Well, what we gotta do to make, create this connection that you see here to have your profile picture and your prof and your account connected here, what we have to do is two things. First, go to your website, and what we have to do technically is basically we have to tell Google what our author page is. So for so I'm going to use Tizish as the example. So here on Tizish, the author page I want it to be the about page. So we have to tell Google that my about page here is my author page. For you, it could be any other page. Like for example, let's take this site here with ChristophChu.com. Um, his author page is going to be the meet the team page, you know, and that because that's where it's going to have his information. All right. So the first step that we're going to see I'm sorry. So the first step that we're going to see is in basically letting Google know that. So we're going to cover that first. And then the second step that we're going to need to do is once, once we let Google know which one is our author page. So for example, I'm, I'm going to let them know the about page is the author page. Once we let them know that, then what we have to do on this page is basically connect this author page with your Google Plus personal profile, plain and simple. But there's a specific way to do each of those two things that I just now said. Hearing it is very easy. It's not just about you know linking. There's an extra thing you have to do for the link. So here's the first step you have to do. First, identify what page on your website do you want to be your author page. Typically, your about page is the best one or maybe if you have a specific page whatever art whatever page here's the criteria make sure it appears in your navigation bar and make sure that it's a page that is actually have author has your kind of author information on it maybe it has your you know about page typically are the best kind if it's your meet the team page that's okay just make sure it's in your navigation bar so once you determine that the first thing you need to do now is log into your admin panel and here we are here so what we got to do is we got to put what's called an author markup ship on the link in our admin in our navigation bars of so so here we are the about page is the page that I want Google to know is the author page right so I need to add a special code to this about link to let Google know this is the author link so here's how you do that go in your admin panel go under appearances cuz we're going to go to your navigation bar menu so under appearance and under menus it's going to pull up your navigation bar. So here's my navigation bar. So now here at this point, the first thing you need to do is open up right here at the top where it says screen options. Open that up and then you'll have a box that comes up just like this. What you have to do at this point is click the one that says link relationship. Click on that and then you could close it right back up. After that, you'll notice when you open up the link so the about page remember the about the about page and the navigation bar is the one I'm trying to tell Google is the author so after hitting the screen and hitting that but hitting the screen options and hitting link re link re relationship hit this back up and now under about when I open it up you'll see it says link relationship all you have to do is type in the word author that's it just type in the word author on whatever the page is for you it could be a category it could be a blog post doesn't really matter just type the word author there. After that, on your right hand side, just go ahead and click on save menu. And you're done with the first step. So now step one is complete where we've let Google know that the, the that your about page or whatever your page is, is the author page. But now we need to do step two. And step two is now in this about page, in whatever your author page that you designated is, in this page, what you have to do now is link to your Google Plus personal profile. Okay, so here's the here's my Google Plus personal profile. So basically, I have to link to this profile in the author page itself. So you see here how I've connect with us, but none of them are going to Josh Galvin. So you see right here where it says 
where it says who is behind Tizish. Well, right here, I'm going to put connect with me on Google+, Plus, but you have to do it in this specific way I'm about to show you. So go to your edit page. So we're going to go to pages. I'm going back. I'm back in my admin panel. I'm just going to, I'm going to pages and I'm going to edit the about page. So here we are under about Tizish. I click on edit. And what I'm looking to do here is basically con link my profile and I have to link to it using what's called the rel me and the rel author tag. Don't worry if you don't get what that means. I've made it simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So what we can do is we're going to scroll down now and wherever go wherever you want to put the Google Plus link. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You could it doesn't really matter how you put it. The whole point is um, you need to do it you need to first do this. So go go here. What you want to do is type in the following or actually first click HTML. That'll be the easiest thing. Click HTML, go to whatever part of your page that you want to put it on. So let's say I want to put mine at the end and I want to say connect with connect with me on Google Plus. Okay, but now that's the first thing. So now that you did you made the message known, what you now need to do is add the following link. Do exactly what I'm showing you here. Copy that link code that that you have with this blog post. Copy that that code and all you're going to do is after the word Google Plus, you're going to type the word at and then paste that code that I just gave you. So it'll look just like that. The code is basically the same code that you see on the blog posting. Say so just paste it in and you're going to notice that there's two things that are in big caps. You'll see one section here and then you'll see another section here that says Google name. What you need to do is the following. Go, now go to your Google Plus profile. Click the word that says about on your Google Plus profile. Not on your brand page. That's a whole separate story. Be sure to be on your Google Plus profile. Click the word about and now take this entire link here. We're going to cut that link at the top. Go back to your edit page and you see here starting at everything that's in caps. HTTP all the way to the end of the word here. Right before the question mark. Just paste that link that we had just copied that goes to your Google Plus account. So that's the first step. Now the second step is go back to your Google Plus account and see your name exactly as it appears. You're going to copy that name. So going to copy, go back to your go back to the link here and where it says Google name, just highlight that and paste it. And that's it. Now at this point all you're going to do is hit update on your blog posting. So here we are, hit update. So now that it's updated, we can view the page, and there's nothing you're going to really see other than a basic link, but we're going to now test it. We have two more steps. So now we just go, we scroll down, we're going to verify, and we see it here. Connect me on Google Plus, at, and then it has all those steps we talked about. So if you did exactly that, then you've done it correctly. If you did exactly what I just showed you using the link I showed you. So if you didn't do it how I said, rewind and do it exactly how I just showed you. So now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to check and we're going to verify if this was done right. So what you have to do is open up the link under step number two. So we're going to open up a link, we're going to open up a web page, and we're going to open up this link. So what you have to do here is just enter the URL of any of your blog postings on your website. So I'm going to go back to Tizish. I'm just going to take any blog posting. Let's just say, you know, this one here. I'm going to take any of them. It doesn't really matter. Take any blog posting on your website and paste it into this test into this preview box and hit the word preview what you should see come up is going to be a snippet of a google result with the profile picture and there you go so you see now how it's showing me a google search result this is what it's saying it'll look like in the search engine it has a link to my personal profile it's, it has me connected and you'll see here it says verified authorship markup is verified on this page if you will only get this part done successfully by doing the first two steps that we just covered all right if you're on this page and you happen to see this warning that's okay just ignore it okay because that's gonna that's gonna be related to the next part we're talking about about your google plus brand page okay so you see here how it says author and the author is connected to our person to a personal profile of josh galvin well now there's one called publisher and publisher this is linking to your google plus page meaning they need to know that this website is also linked to which google plus brand page so that is the that's coming up later I'll show you that after but I have a whole separate tutorial on that I'll just reference it though but we still have steps on here 
So we just now tested and we see that it worked. So basically what you're looking for is just verification under this author section here and verification that your profile picture shows up. After that you have verification on that, what you want to do is go to point number three, copy this URL and we want to make an authorship request. So we're going to paste this URL in Google and now you're on a page just like this. What you got to do is enter your name, email, your first name and last name exactly as it appears on your Google Plus account. And then where it says email address, enter the email address that you signed up with on your Google Plus account, whichever is the main email address that Google recognizes your Plus account with. Use that one, meaning the following: when you're when before you sign into Google Plus, what email address are you putting in there? Whatever that email address is, make sure that's the one that you use here. And then now under this part, under link to your Google profile, what you want to do is go back to your Google profile, and you see how we clicked on the word about. Well, basically, right before the word about, the, take the slash right before the word about, exactly as you see there. Just cut that and paste that into the link profile. And then now, you have done this. If you followed everything show, shown in this video, you have done that. So check this box. And after that, just hit the submit button at the bottom. And you're all set. So by doing all these items, you will now have set up a a this the system to get your profile picture and your link to your Google profile appearing with your search result with your blog articles done alright so that's everything that you need to know to set up your personal profile now though you also have a brand page and I, this is what I have on a whole separate tutorial I'm just telling you to go check it to, to be sure to check that tutorial out but you also have a brand page that you want to let Google know that you're that your websites the publisher of so how do you do that? Basically, the easy way to, to connect your Google Plus page is by doing the following. Uh, on your website, on, the, on my website here, on the Tizish site, you'll see a badge here. It's a, it's, a, it's a badge that links directly to my Google Plus brand page. Well, basically, by putting this badge on your website, you will just, you'll do that step of connecting your Google Plus page to your brand to your website that's all you have to do but I have a whole separate tutorial on this on this step so just be sure to follow that but it basically means putting the badge on your site and then on your Google Plus page just link to your website meaning the following so so um, here I am on the here I am here if I go to about you'll see that I have a link I have a link here that links to my website the whole point is just in your about section link to your website as well so you want to you want to put a badge and then you want to link to your website and then you'll be all set there and then basically the final thing is a little word of a word a little note and I talked about this on the separate tutorial that uh, that explains why all this stuff is important but basically if you if you start using the Google plus one button that's gonna help with everything that you learned and you did today and by using the Google plus one button it's this thing here just basically use this plus one button here that you see just use that button and use it on content that's relevant to the topics you want Google to know you're relevant to. If you don't, if you want to know why that's important and why that matters, then you have to check out the video where I tell you why Google Plus matters for SEO now, and I, I explain it in full depth on that video. But just check it out and understand that that's important and true. All right. So that's everything you need to know for how to set up your, how to connect your Google Plus accounts with your website. Be sure you do everything on this. It's extremely important. All right. Well, if you have any questions. Go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here, and ask me there. Good luck and take care.